Last time, during round one of the Elite 18 tournament, the Steel type defeats the Ghost type. Rock demolishes Fire. And last but not least, the Steel type takes down Electric with a big fight. Hey everybody, my name is May, and this is round two of our amazing tournament that we have. Uh, if you haven't watched the first one, then right up here somewhere, I'm going to be linking it to you. So go watch that one first. Round two, it gets even spicier. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it's been awesome. And one more small thing that I would like to add, uh, this is me after editing the video, is that there are a lot of fights that we had that we did not get to record because they did not have the equipment to do so. Um, so like I said, next time you got to join in the tournament, you got to join the discord if you want to know exactly what's going on. Ferrothorn is the first to go out. We just saw Ferrothorn in our last battle against Tyranitar started last game and is going to start this game too. And the shininess of it just makes it that much better. Tyranitar swaps out and brings out a Colossal. An Iron Head from the Ferrothorn goes into Colossal and does about a fourth of the damage, a quarter of the damage. Rocky Helmet hurts the Ferrothorn, but it looks like Ferrothorn's got a little bit of leftovers. Nice. Pokemon Crystal. That was a while back. Halo, you can't show our age on stream. <laughs> Flamethrower into the Ferrothorn takes it all the way down to zero, and Ferrothorn is out. Uh, this is... Uh, Pokemon Black and White Battle N, final music. And here's the Ludicolo, the shiny Ludicolo nonetheless. I don't know what move it used, but I think it was Scald, and it takes out the Colossal. Ludicolo lost a little bit of HP, and loses a little bit more HP to the uh, uh, Sandstorm, the Darude that was going by. Here comes Aurorus. I think the music is going to stop. Uh, Ludicolo comes out and Serena comes back in. And it is a shiny Serena round. Goes into the Serena, does about, ah, about two thirds of damage almost. There we go, now it's two thirds. Thanks Sandstorm for making everything make a little bit more sense to the Twitch viewers. Here comes the Dynamax from Rashawn. And Serena's growing bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know what the links are. My screen is really weird, so I can't see. Oh well. Every time I try, I look away from the screen and I miss something. <laughs> Serena's attack rose. Looks like he used a max knuckle. I believe Aurora's fainted. The sandstorm has subsided. And it looks like Agron is coming out. 
to play. A max knuckle from Serena goes into Agron and wipes it almost out. It, le it lives at one health. Agron sturdy prevented it from dying right away. Serena's attack rose again. Iron Head from Agron goes into Serena, brings it all the way down to about, I don't know, 6 HP. Sure. Am I doing a good job at commentating? Max Overgrowth goes into the Agron, takes it down from 1 to 0. Thanks, Kayla. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Love the energy. I'm really trying. <laughs> All right. We're down to three on the rock side. I'm not too sure. I think we're down two or maybe just one on the grass side. Tyrantrum comes out to face up against a very, very weak Serena. However, it is very boosted as far as attack. Let's see what happens here. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And the Serena has fainted. I think it used a dragon move. Lost some of its HP and then regains a little bit because of the terrain. I appreciate it, guys. Who's dragon again? That is um, Mega Knight. Little bit of lag, don't worry about it. Wimiscott has come out to play against Tyrantrum. And the Moonblast into Tyrantrum leaves it at 11 HP. And it flinched and it couldn't move. There weren't supposed to be any. His horn drill a one hit KO move? Uh oh. It's okay. It didn't get actually get used. We're all, we're all good. Don't you worry, fam. And the Moonblast from Wimiscott goes into Tyranitar. And it hits for about one third of damage, maybe a little bit more. Shadow Claw from Tyranitar comes out and hits Wimiscott for about a third as well. A little bit less than a third this time. And the Sandstorm is hit. Quest music. Okay, uh, let me see if I can get to it. Um, give me one second. All right, Cotton Guard from the Women's Scott comes out. Oh, this is for the finals? Well, it's going to go right now. <laughs> the Stone Edge goes into Wimiscott, does a ton of damage. And both Pokemon get a little bit of a second to heal. And both of them are trading shots. Tyranitar missed the Stone Edge on Wimiscott. Moonblast again from Wimiscott comes out into the Tyranitar and Tyranitar faints. Does just enough to get it down. Wimiscott's hurt by that sandstorm.
And here comes a Caracosta, the last Pokemon. Endeavor comes out and takes it all the way down to 26 health. Oof. And the Zen Headbutt just isn't enough. It looks like Women Scott's going to take this one by just a little bit here. That Women Scott was a perfect matchup against this team. Alright, so. Fairy sending out a Mawile and then Ninetales for the Ice team. Ninetales Snow, War Snow Warning is going to come out. And Mawile's Intimidate is going to lower the attack to Ninetales. Setting up the Aurora Veil very quickly. The Iron Head from Mawile goes into the Ninetales and completely destroys it. Leaves it at 1 HP. The Focus Sash is the only thing hanging on from Fushi being in the lead. The ice goes and hits Mawile. Ninetales uses Blizzard against the Mawile and brings down to just a little bit over half health. And here comes another Iron Head from Mawile. Taking it down and Fushi, the Fairy Trainer, is in the lead by one Mon. Oh. <laughs> we just listened to the song. One second. Oh, not that one. Sorry. I gotta get my stuff together. I'll go right here. Oh man, this one should have been the finals. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And Galarian Darmanitan makes an appearance for the first time. And the Fire Punch into the Mawile takes it out completely. It is an even game. Five to five. Alrighty, the Gardevoir comes out. Kira swaps out, goes into Mr. Rhyme. And the Moonblast goes into Mr. Rhyme. And only does about a quarter damage. Gardevoir gets hit by the hail. And the ice body. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Ice body and leftovers. Mr. Rhyme didn't take no damage from that. I know, I keep wanting to call it Rosalina. <laughs> but I'm not. The nicknames have been throwing me off. I've been like, oh god, what is that Pokemon called again? I gotta say it by its real name and not its nickname. Uh-oh. My brain is dead. Bye-bye, brain. And Gardevoir has been swapped out. <laughs> Yeti Demon comes out. Oh. I don't even remember his name right now. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Dang, the Shadow Ball only does about, I don't even know, one-eighth of the damage? We're doing good here. 
And Mr. Rhyme is back at full health now. Almost. Mr. Rhyme is going to go ahead and protect. And the substitute. Alright. God, what the heck is that guy's name? <laughs> oh my god, why does my memory start fading whenever I start looking at Pokemon with uh, nicknames? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Grimmsnarl, holy crud. I was I really wanted to call it Impidimp this whole time and I'm like it is not Impidimp. Mesta, it is not Impidimp. Mesta, it is not Impidimp. What's wrong with you? And the swap out on Mr. Rhyme back into Darmanitan. And Grimmsnarl is going to go ahead and bulk up. Shiny that threw me off. No worries. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry. And the leftovers is going to heal Grimmsnarl up by just a little bit here. Grimmsnarl uh, Snarl again going to bulk up. And the Darmanitan uses Iron Head. Of course it does nothing. However, the substitute will fade. And now let's see where we go from here. And we're going with the Dynamax early here. Actually, this might be a Gigantamax, folks. No, it is not a Gigantamax. It is only a Dynamax. Kira not taking it. She's applying some lip gloss right now. She's not phased by anything. <laughs> and about mm, two-thirds of the damage and the Max Starfall comes out. And completely destroys the Darmanitan on the other side of the field. I can fix that up. The only reason why I don't have it is uh, just because of uh, Jackbox and all the trolls I used to get with Jackbox. I'm still a little shaky about it, but don't worry. You can post links in the self-promotion if you want to. That's the only place right now where you can post links, I believe. I mean, it's plus two or three bulk up right now. Uh, plus three attack, plus three defense. Doing pretty good. And I believe this is going to be a Gigantamax from Kira. And indeed it is. The Gigantamax comes out. Let's see what Grimmsnarl is going to be able to do against this Lapras. We are in a battle, Blue Fire Wing. This is Ice and Fairy. The Renaissance, I believe it is, comes first. And it takes out the Grim Snarl. And the Aurora Veil is back up. Nah, this is still a qualifier. We didn't get an early start like I had hoped. I hadn't gotten a message from Puds, so we kind of skipped a game here. Uh, 
I waited to give Puds an even chance, but I haven't heard from him. Uh, the game was supposed to be played at 10, and he agreed to it. However, he is not here, so I assume that he is too busy, and I don't want to bother him. Chess piece. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> I'm doing great, Blue Firewing. Thanks for asking. And a Max Geyser from Lapras comes out. And it does just less than half damage. I don't like this song, I'm sorry. One second. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened. Lapras has an energy drain. The weakness policy pops up. On the Lapras. It barely did any damage, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mavi Smith. The Max Geyser comes out, and this time it's going to do a lot more damage because of the rain and takes out Chess Piece. I love that name. <laughs> I didn't think of that. However, that was the last turn of Dynamax. Or I guess Gigantamax. <laughs> no worries, Amavi Smith. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Ooh, the Galarian Rapidash comes out. And let's see. Bidet? <laughs> That's the name? <laughs> Let's see what the Lapras is going to do. And the Zen Headbutt from Galarian Rapidash comes out. It does about another quarter of damage to the Lapras. Lapras is super tanky, has both screens up, technically. The Thunder comes down and completely wipes Galarian Rapidash. Amos, welcome back. Taking a break from Pokemon tonight and starting my new AC Island. Nice! I know you were saying you had a new AC Island uh, a few days back. Hope to see that works out. Puds just messaged me back, so I guess Puds back in it. <laughs> we'll figure everything out. The Mystical Fire from Gardevoir barely does a thing. However, it does lower Lapras' special attack. And the Thunder from Lapras comes out into Gardevoir. And uh, we'll just say it does two-thirds of damage. We'll call that two-thirds, even though it's not two-thirds. Another Mystical Fire. We're really lowering that special attack down. And another Thunder from Lapras is going to take the Gardevoir out. How's my day been? It's been really good. I'm glad to hear that your day's been good too. And the Ribombi comes out. Hello, Ribombi. And let's see what Rabombi's gonna go ahead and do. This is Fushi's last Pokemon. The Rabombi's got a sweep here. And the Pollen Puff. Ooh, does about a quarter damage, but is the Rabombi gonna survive Blizzard? And it does. However, it gets frozen. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. And it gets hurt by Black Sludge. That's confusing. Let's see. The Rabombi is frozen solid, does not get to pick up the hit on Lapras, and Lapras will take the I take ice to be the winner of this game. Akira beats Fushi. Fushi, you did an amazing job. I appreciate it. <laughs> 